Really your only option left to keep the bar from slipping out of your hands and avoiding injury is to move on to hook grip. Many of you are going to find out when you start deadlifting, the bar is going to start dropping out of your hands. And that's because as you start loading up weight more and more, it seems to be that your grip strength isn't strong enough. Now the first logical step for most people is to use gear or wrist straps. But wrist straps really hurt your overall strength with accessory muscles and the movement patterns that you're going to need to transfer onto the field. If you don't want to use gear, most people go onto an over under grip, which does allow you to lift more weight, but it also causes problems with muscular imbalance and exposes your bicep to increase injury. So for people who don't want to lose strength from accessory muscles and do not want to get injured, they must move on to utilizing hook grip so they can continue their strength gains and transfer those strength gains onto the field. Before I teach you about hook grip, it's important to understand why you would do hook grip. See, the traditional overhand grip has two major flaws within it. First is the overhand grip has nothing supporting the bar underneath. So the bar will roll out of your hands as you load more and more weight onto it. And this is one of the major reasons why people go on to use things like wrist straps. But as mentioned, the wrist straps will hurt your accessory strength and those that function will not transfer onto the field. So if you want to look good in the weight room and just do a bunch of weight, go ahead and have wrist straps. But if you actually want something that transfers onto the field, I would recommend staying away from wrist straps completely. The second thing most people do if they don't want to use wrist straps or they don't want to spend money is they're going to do an over under grip. But as mentioned before, the over under grip causes a lot of people to pull harder on one side, which is going to hurt your back. And it also exposes your bicep tendons to extreme amount of force. And many people I've seen on the internet have torn their bicep tendons from doing heavy over under grips. The problem with the traditional overhand grip is you're only using your fingers to hold the bar and you're not using your thumb. So basically your extensors are working very hard and your flexor muscles are not really working as hard. So the, what the hook grip is going to do is it's going to allow you to grab the bar with your extensors and you're going to use your flexor strength. So your total force that you're clamping down on the bar is going to increase and you're going to be able to hold more weight. And that is also going to help your overall grip strength. Really your only option left to keep the bar from slipping out of your hands and avoiding injury is to move on to hook grip. So in order to do the hook grip properly, what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and you're going to place it under the bar. You're going to take your hand and you're going to turn it over and you're going to grab your thumb and then you're going to pull back on your hand and you're going to lock your hand in underneath the bar. It's actually for a very strong grip. And what you're going to notice is that when you use the hook grip, you can use your thumb pressure and your finger pressure and they'll be squeezing together, which will use both your extensors and your flexors. So again, your thumb comes underneath, you're going to roll your hand over. You're going to grab your, thing, your thumb and you're going to pull back. Now if you're new to hook grip, the bar still may slide out of your hands initially. You're going to get new calluses in places that you haven't had before. And you may notice that your actual grip strength isn't as good as you originally thought it was. But I don't want you to go back to your old ways and think that hook grip is just something for other people. It's for serious people who want serious performance. And if you want to continue your strength gains, you're going to need to start using hook grip. The bar slipping out of your hands will go away quickly. The new calluses formed will help you in hot, humid, and days when you're sweating profusely. And within 10 days, your overall grip strength will begin to improve. Remember, when you're focused on developing real strength that can transfer into the real world, you're going to want something that is low risk and doesn't have extra devices. But that is really just the beginning of what hook grip can do for you. It opens up a brand new world of Olympic lifting that's going to increase your sports performance way more than you ever thought was possible. Things like cleans, jerks, and snatches are all exercises that you can use with hook grip to increase your sports performance and help you perform better in the weight room. So remember that this little bit of knowledge and a little bit of practice will go a long way in your overall long-term goals. If you like the video, hit the like button and be socially responsible and please share this video so others can enjoy the content too. I'll see you in the next one.